Okay. Dale, Kathy, I've been compromised. I'm not gonna be able to make it all the way to the East Coast from California. So your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to make the most amazing, awesome vegan burger bites possible. If you do that, the list might be released and, and all might be well. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. We are dishing on movies. What's up everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Dishing, dishing on, on movies. movies. Good job. 2.0, yeah. right? 2.0. <laughs> it is brand new here, 2018, and I needed some help. And so I brought my lovely friend, Kathy Kelly. Hello. I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited to have you be a part of it. It's I know. So cool. And I'm hangry right now. Uh -oh. So ready need, to eat. We need to hurry up. <laughs> um, so we decided Krista gave us a cool mission. Yes. It sounds impossible. Well, nothing is impossible, Dale. That's so true, Kathy. That's why I like you. Your positivity. Positivity. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to do some impossible burger bites. I don't know a lot about it, but Kathy had this great idea for the recipe. Yeah, so obviously you can't get Impossible Burgers anywhere other than a restaurant, but we did get uh, Beyond Meat Burgers, so they're veggie burgers. We have some uh, vegan cheese. This is vegan cheddar cheese, um, oil, some pizza dough. Uh, you can buy pre-bought store-made pizza dough and uh, pepper, so very few ingredients. Um, you throw them together and uh, it's gonna be good. Mission right. Impossible Burger Bites. Let's get the cooking. That's the job. So you are going to have your pan. We preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Yep. And then what I usually do, I just go straight for the dough. I grab about, I don't know what size ball this would be. Like golf, slightly smaller than a golf ball yeah. size. Yeah. Piece of dough. You got right in there, yeah. I like it. So you just grab it and flatten it out. And we bought the burger patties because that was what was available. You can get um, regular meat, obviously, if you don't want to make it vegan. There's so many plant-based companies now that you can get pretty much whatever you like. Yeah. Black bean burgers or anything. So you're just going to put a little bit, maybe like mm. a grape-sized... Baby burger. ...piece of meat, even though it's not meat, in the center. You pre-cubed this cheese and roll it into a bowl. This is prettier than mine. Oh yeah, I should have warned you. Don't don't get it on the ring, the outer ring, so that you are able to close it. It does get messy. I was gonna say this is so easy that anyone can do it, but <laughs> what the hell is he doing? I find it best not to look. Next up, you dunk it in your oil. Oh, and this is just olive oil, right? Yeah. Place it in the pre-greased pan. Add a little pepper to the top. No. And then it does get a little bit harder to uh, make your balls when you have the oil on your fingers, so try to avoid doing that. So have you seen all the Mission Impossible movies? Um, I remember watching them when I was younger with my mom. Oh yeah? Um, yeah. I don't think I ever saw them in theaters because I was too young, but I remember right. sitting on our couch watching Mission Impossible thinking that Tom Cruise was the coolest person on the planet and uh, also getting scared because I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> that first one, like, his whole team... <laughs> so it was a little scary for sure. Yeah. I love that scene. I think that and the uh, scene where he drops down... That is, the, yeah. In the way... Oh, yeah. from the ceiling. From yeah. the ceiling. And that's iconic. Like, how many people have done that in movies and TV shows Gosh. ever since? It doesn't matter, really, if you space them apart. You can put them all into the pan and um, kind of have them congeal together because then you can just pull apart. It's kind of like a pull apart bread. You can put them in a bun pan, whatever kind of pan you want to bake these in. Um, so even though we are spreading these apart just so they can be individual little bites, uh, you don't necessarily have to do that. We're just showing you. The new Mission Impossible is super fun. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but it was the one that the big mustache debacle. Well, mustache had. gates. A uh, mustache uh, gate. Henry Cavill. Yeah, exactly. I do remember seeing um, the controversy of um, his disappearing pocket or his appearing pocket oh, yeah. in his fight scene. He has such a badass fight scene where he cocks his fist and everybody, everybody loves the scene where he's like Ch -ch -ch. Oh yeah. yeah. He just looks like a movie star. Oh my god. 
Yeah. Yeah. That is like true Hollywood. But you know who is a movie star? Tom Cruise. Because the fact that he does all of his own stunts, and I saw like all of this press about how uh, Henry Cavill was saying that he wanted to do more of his own stunts because of Tom Cruise. Oh yeah. At whatever age he is, still wanting to do everything himself. Like you know, going back, going back to the old uh, Mission Impossible movies or old movies that he's done, where he's like literally scaling buildings. Um, he climbed, and, climbed the Burj Khalifa. Yeah. Yeah. He apparently put I heart Katie at the top of the Burj Khalifa. <laughs> no, so, don't do that because it's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> we won't do that recipe here on the show. <laughs> so, how is he? Oh, you know, same old Ethan. Now, are okay. we almost good here? Yeah, I'm going to do one more and then um, if you want to pepper those, yeah. we should be good to go. I won't assault them, but I will up pepper them. <laughs> you need to walk away. Please don't make me go through you. I'm gonna put these in the oven at 300 degrees. Yum. They look so good. Obviously you wanna let them cool off for a little bit before you go in, but we are so hungry. Cheers. We're gonna do it. Mm. Cheers. Oh yeah, dipping. Dipping. Double dipped. You got your mustard in the ketchup. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, you go. It's so good. Yours too hot. Blow in it. The meat is really good. I would say you can tell it's not beef. Mm hmm But it doesn't taste like a vegetarian burger. No. But you definitely get the burger rise in this. Mm-hmm. And a little bit of pepper on top really brought out the flavor too. Yeah. These are awesome. Great job, Kathy. Thank you. Thanks for giving us the idea, Krista. That was super cool. Great mission. Maybe not impossible. Definitely not impossible. Um, <laughs> definitely not impossible. <laughs> Make sure to check us out. We are Dishing Out Movies on Instagram and Twitter. And we will see you guys next time. We are Dishing On Movies.